What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Forever Brandon TV coming back to you guys with a late, yes, a late review on R&B star Sammy. Guys, Sammy is, and I know I should have been here gave this review. Uh, he has a EP. Um, it's on Spotify, iTunes called 3187 3.0 Series 3, Series 318. Uh, seven three point zero guys is an EP guys. Now I meant to get this review, maybe like two weeks ago or something like that. But I still decided to get a review, guys. I finally had listened to it, guys. It's amazing. Uh, five track EP guys. Now he uh, this is a follow up to his album he made last year, which was called Coming of Age. Now I did not. I didn't even know about the album, guys. Uh, because the last time I heard from Sammy, uh, I, ooh. I'm trying to remember because Sammy hasn't really been had, had been out there in a while. Like the last time I heard from Sammy was maybe back in 2010-ish, 2009-ish, guys. He was kind of, uh, you know, featuring on other people's songs and kind of did a remix song. Uh, uh, who did he do a remix song? But anyway, he did, uh, he, he kind of hasn't been in the loop in a while. Like I haven't been following him kind of in a while, which is, which is, you know, crazy because Sammy was really huge at one point if you guys remember who sammy is he um he did uh songs uh like well he he had his front his first album back in the year 2000 guys which was when i was a little which was which was when i was a young book guys from the bottom to the top uh, he uh, he was out there around with B2K and IMX and, you know, uh, just a lot of... Uh, he was out there. Like, he really was. Like, he had hits. He had songs. The album had sold 744,000 copies, guys. That was pretty good back then. That was back when people really used to buy music, you know. And it was really, really good. Uh, he had got... Push comes to shove. He had got really rich. And then for a while, uh, as he got older, he took it, it was a while you didn't hear from him. And then he started featuring on people's things. I think he did some stuff with Brandy. And then he did some stuff with Maya. And then he kind of, you know, he was kind of doing a lot of remix songs throughout the years. And uh, did a little collaborations. And then uh, after that, you didn't really hear from him. From 2000 to all the way to now, I had recently witnessed about his uh, EP. When I heard it, I thought that it was really, really good. The first song, F It, I'm not going to curse, but the first song, F It, was basically saying, you know, uh, let's try to work things out. Let's not care what people say. I really like it. I like the... It's a great, great R&B feel to it. It was kind of giving me a little bit of Ray J, uh, guys. Um, I really, really liked it. It was really good. It had a great sound to it. Uh, the next song is Ride or Die, which is a really, really good song. It's basically talking about, so are you willing to ride or you willing to die? And it's relate. We'll, they're basically saying the relationship, they're going to go all the way and they're going to ride or die, basically. Uh, and I really like it. It's really, really good for people who was, you know, going through things in a relationship. Um, I, I really like the song. Get Right is basically saying he's going to get right. You know, uh, he's going to make it right in the relationship. And and yeah, and I really like the song. It had a nice, great R&B feel. Um, the next song, Different, is really, really good. Uh, I really like it. It just really, 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 um, it really stands out, you know, because Sammy has a great, great voice and uh, he hasn't made music, you know, kind of in a while. That, well, I haven't heard in a while. But, uh, uh, you know, as he has gotten older, you know, I, I uh, you know, he, he has really, really, hit, really gotten better, you know, uh, uh, as far as um, music. Uh, then the last song is Goodbye is basically saying he's going to say his last goodbye in the relationship. Y'all know, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's strictly R&B, which means he makes a lot of love songs and it's good because... A lot of people can relate to them, you know, and it's good to hear a male's perspective of of, of, of R&B because we kind of been missing that lately in, in the male form. You know, everybody been trying to rap, but I feel like uh, uh, Sammy is in the realm of real R&B. Now, I don't know if he's going to have any new music coming out or, or like, as far as like an album, but so far we do have this... Um, we do have this EP, which is pretty good. Now, he did make an album that I didn't know about last year. So, I'm not really sure how it did as far as sale-wise. Because uh, I'm pretty sure probably people either didn't know about it or well, I didn't know about it. But um, 
Yeah, so far the EP is really pretty. It was pretty good. It was straight to the point. You know, he really did good um, as far as uh, uh, showcasing his vocals um, and great song choices. And I, I really liked it. I think that he sounded really amazing. So, yep, Sammy, guys, check him out. It's series 3187.3. Uh, 73.0, sorry. Uh, you can check it out. It's on iTunes, Spotify, probably on SoundCloud, YouTube. Check it out. You can follow his Vivo. I'm sure he has one. Everybody, every artist does. Uh, yep. Yeah, Forever Brandon TV, guys. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is Forever Brandon.